A week-long commemoration of the World Antimicrobial Resistance Campaign for Africa has ended in the Zimbabwean capital Harare with a call to action. Going forward, we need more of this collaborative effort so that at the end of the day we are all moving together. We talk about preventing antimicrobial resistance together. That can only be done through collaboration and through that One Health approach we're talking about. And the youths are very important if our strategy to mitigate and prevent AMR is going to be successful. I think it is also important for governments and regulatory authorities to begin to, of course their country, uh, most countries in the region do have these laws and regulation, but I think that we need to focus more on, you know, enforcing the regulations that have to do with, you know, use of antimicrobials. Uh, I think the third area for me would be issues around uh, strengthening um, um, programs we call antimicrobial stewardship programs in our healthcare facilities that have to do with optimizing the use of antimicrobial medicines. Organizers of the campaign and university students who braved the scorching sun walked two kilometers from townhouse to the African Unity Square where they raised awareness on antimicrobial resistance. The entire week, Harale has been a hive of activity. An antimicrobial football tournament was another awareness activity. The antimicrobial resistant tournament. With the campaign coming to a close, health experts are hoping for a change in behavior that promotes the problem of antibiotic resistance. Efim Pande, ZMBC News, Harale, Zimbabwe.